Well, 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 here we are. Happy Halloween. Last day of the 10th month of 2018. Here we go. Ozzy took a bit of a spill last night. Uh, not really sure why, because equities is quite risk on. I believe the market's quite short. But here we are at uh, 70.91. We tried that break trade through 10 yesterday. It kind of worked. I mean, it broke, went to 18. Stayed above 10 for about 40 minutes, but then kind of wandered back down. We are going to try to break trade this again through 20 today, even though it's month end. There will be dollar buying. Um, only because we think the market's short. And the equity market, as you can see, proved our capitulation theory that we talked about yesterday to be true. Uh, shorts are running for the hills. The trend is still down here, equities. Uh, but we just look. We're just looking for a squeeze back up into this sort of 27.20 to 27. I don't know, 50 area. Uh, let's say. And so we're. You're either core long, um, or you're square looking to go short on a bounce up to say 27.50 uh, but it looks like we're heading higher uh, today and that's sort of the plan that we're looking at ZB did not get paid up there um, yesterday's high was 12 we're back down uh, 138.13 this looks quite negative uh, and in general it has made it quite good for the dollar rates in the US are, are higher overall tens are at 314 which is no big deal but rates I would just say are very solid euro is the lower end of its range because it's month end there'll be some more dollar buying today maybe a little bit less um, yesterday was like not you know it was just like sort of a little tiny bit of flow, 20 points worth of flow, no big deal to fix. Um, but it looks like we're going to print a new low and obviously the key that we've all been talking about is this 112.90 point. Um, a daily close below 112.90 and the euro is in massive trouble. Uh, and We're looking for a move back to 108. As far as um, news today, we have the BOJ press conference, uh, which is any minute now. Dollar yen is just mildly higher. No policy change uh, out of Japan. I haven't looked at uh, the comments yet, but if you just look at the, at the chart here, nothing happened with the BOJ. You can tell already. This looks bid. I mean, no, no getting around that. I mean, that's a very, very bullish close yesterday at, at 14. We made a new high today. Um, the first resistance will be at 55, and then of course the second resistance will be up here at 114.60. But keep your eye out uh, for Karuda. He is having a press conference usually right about now, um, so keep an eye out for that. Euro yen, as we talked about it, core long is the way. Made a new high today, up at 58. Uh, this looks like we're heading for 130. Market's very, very short euro yen. And once all of the euro selling from uh, month end is, is finished, uh, euro yen can go higher, especially with equities having capitulated and turned. Dollar Cad, you had Wilkins on the horn last night. Uh, he made some comments about why he changed the word gradual from um, why he um, changed the word gradual in the uh, statement from the Bank of Canada. Not too much is going on in uh, Dollar Cad here. We do like this lower after the fix. Um, so we actually we don't really settled on where and how and when we're going to sell this, but we do like this lower. See how that goes. 
what else? <clears throat> Not too much else out there, really. I mean, crude is 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 back higher after after getting crushed down to 65.50. Uh, FT uh, BTPs are going to open up uh, a little bit higher today <clears throat> on a mildly sort of risk on sort of way. Um, in general, we're looking sort of for sort of a window dressy last day of the month risk on day. We don't have any really fierce setups that we're really loving and looking at. We did not get given any euro yen overnight, uh, so we're just and we're not going to chase this. You want to buy low ones in this case, and we will wait for Aussie. We'll give it one more try through yesterday's highs on what I would call a very faint-hearted break trade. So, as is our policy, uh, you know, we tend to keep it very light at month end. Uh, in fact, we usually do not put trades on after lunch. So, looks like we're going to hold true to that today. Gold is slightly interesting as we're, we're creeping back to that uh, 1210 area, which, as uh, you, you all remember, we bought on, you know, that was mid-month there uh, we were long gold up from 10 to 30 this will be support um, but again we're not we're not going to fool around with trying to buy the dip in gold uh, especially with equities higher and rates very solid but 1210 will be support first time down anyway I will leave you guys to it uh, uh, keeping it light and watching and waiting I'll see you on Twitter the rest of the day ciao